Hi everyone, my name is Kelsey Hansen here in the Children's Museum at the Museum of Arts and Sciences. Today we are recognizing all of the energy we use, even if we don't realize it. People use energy every day for lighting, cooking, cooling rooms, heating, transportation, entertainment, and many other uses. Energy is all around us. The idea of Energy Conservation Day is for individuals and families to start conservation practices on a small scale. So that means practicing conservation at home and in your daily life routines. We consume a lot of energy and every year we use more energy than we did the previous year. I'm sure you have all heard of the term energy conservation. When you hear the words conserving and conservation, this might make you think of ways to use less of something or save it for later. If you are conserving energy, that means you are saving it by using less of it. Energy conservation is just as important as energy itself. Saving energy is really important for people and the planet. So why is it important to practice conserving energy? Right now, a lot of our energy comes from natural resources that are finite. Natural resources are things that are found in nature, such as water, natural gas, and oil. These resources are called non-renewable, which means there's only a limited amount in the world, and we will run out of them eventually. Once those non-renewable resources run out, that's it, we can't replace them. That's why it's important to practice energy conservation. Another important reason to conserve energy is to promote the health and well-being of our planet. Non-renewable resources can pollute our surrounding environments and we can compromise the health of plants and animals. Our energy decisions impact humans directly, as well as the polar bears, sea turtles, and every species on the planet. Another term that you might have been hearing a lot recently is called sustainability. When we talk about energy and sustainability, we are also talking about energy conservation methods that include reducing the amount of energy we use and energy efficiency. So here we have one of our science night stations where families and students and teachers can interact with this station and learn more about energy efficiency. So uh, the first light bulb that I have here is an incandescent light bulb. And so when I flip it on, this meter will uh, read in watts. And so right now it's putting out about 43.8 watts. So turn that off. The next one is a CFL bulb. And this one is putting out about 14.1 watts. And the next bulb is an LED. And the LED puts out about 5.4 watts. So the LED light bulb puts out way less watts than the CFL and the incandescent. The LED is way more efficient um, in your homes. And so also over here, we have Christmas lights, which are fun. Um, so the first one, LED Christmas lights, and they're putting out about 3.8, 3.7 watts. So the next string of lights um, are incandescent lights, and they put out about 38.4 watts. So it's way better to have the LED light bulb strung up on your Christmas tree than the incandescent light bulbs. Energy saved is energy gained for another day. Saving energy will cut down on pollution and help our non-renewable resources last a little longer until we're able to go 100% renewable. Here are a few tips to conserve energy during your daily routines and in your own home. By adjusting your thermostat just two degrees, so down two degrees in the winter and up two degrees in the summer, you can save about 2,000 pounds of carbon dioxide from entering the atmosphere per year. Artificial lighting accounts for about 44% of electricity used in office buildings. Make it a habit to turn off the lights when you leave a room for more than 15 minutes. Also, unplug power strips and other electrical devices when you're not using them. Using cold water for laundry can save up to 80% of the energy required to wash clothes. Also, choosing a lower setting on the washing machine will help save water. Try and go solar. Using solar panels to power your home can reduce your electrical bills, shrink your carbon footprint, and increase your home value.